Unit Thirteen, Surfs Up Taiwan, December Twenty Second. Lush green mountains loom over Taiwan's east coast. Small fishing towns dotting the spectacular landscape below. Opposite the striking peaks, the Pacific Ocean crashes into beaches lining the island. For surfers, Taiwan is a hidden gem, offering world-class beaches without the crowds. Yet, for an island brimming with surf opportunities, Taiwanese surfers are few and far between. In fact. A fear of the sea has kept locals away from the water for decades. There are several factors causing this aversion, including a high rate of drowning deaths and a shortage of water safety education. The prevailing factor, however, is the island's turbulent relationship with China. During Taiwan's period of martial law, the island's beaches were heavily guarded and off limits to the public. According to Professor Lin Wenling, the ocean was turned into a dangerous frontier, a battlefield against the Chinese communists on the mainland. This led to an entire generation of Taiwanese people lacking in knowledge of the sea. This apprehension is subsiding in part because of Taiwan's surf pioneers. One of Taiwan's best-known female surfers is Bei Bei Niu. Who had to overcome not only society's fear of the ocean, but also its gender stereotypes. In 2016, Nyo told a reporter that many Taiwanese surfers had trouble taking her seriously at first. They only began accepting her once they realized how determined she was. Now a pro, Nyo has opened a surf school in Jinzun, a coastal fishing town in Taichung County. Known for its waves, international surfers have started to recognize Taiwan's potential as well. The World Surf League, or WSL, has even hosted events in the country. Will Hayden Smith, a regional manager for WSL, believes Taiwan has a bright future as a surf destination, thanks to its perfect waves. Local hospitality and growing surf culture.